Today I'd like to speak with you about an issue that is fundamental to America's national security. The need for the Senate to approve the New START Treaty this year. This treaty is rooted in a practice that dates back to Ronald Reagan. The idea is simple. As the two nations with over 90% of the world's nuclear weapons, the United States and Russia have a responsibility to work together to reduce our arsenals. And to ensure that our national security is protected, the United States has an interest in tracking Russia's nuclear arsenal through a verification effort that puts U.S. inspectors on the ground. As President Reagan said when he signed a nuclear arms treaty with the Soviet Union in 1987, trust but verify. That is precisely what the New START Treaty does. After nearly a full year of negotiations, we completed an agreement earlier this year that cuts by a third the number of long-range nuclear weapons and delivery vehicles that the United States and Russia can deploy, while ensuring that America retains a strong nuclear deterrent and can put inspectors back on the ground in Russia. The treaty also helped us reset our relations with Russia, which leads to concrete benefits. For instance, Russia has been indispensable to our efforts to enforce strong sanctions on Iran, to secure loose nuclear materials from terrorists, and to equip our troops in Afghanistan. All of this will be put to risk if the Senate does not pass the New START Treaty. Without ratification this year, the United States will have no inspectors on the ground and no ability to verify Russian nuclear activities. So those who would block this treaty are breaking President Reagan's rule. They want to trust but not verify. Without ratification, we put at risk the coalition that we have built to put pressure on Iran and the transit routes through Russia that we use to equip our troops in Afghanistan. And without ratification, we risk undoing decades of American leadership on nuclear security and decades of bipartisanship on this issue. Our security and our position in the world are at stake. Indeed, since the Reagan years, every president has pursued a negotiated, verified arms reduction treaty. And every time that these treaties have been reviewed by the Senate, they have passed with over 85 votes. Bipartisan support for New START could not be stronger. It has been endorsed by Republicans from the Reagan administration and both Bush administrations, including Colin Powell, George Shultz, Jim Baker, and Henry Kissinger. And it was approved by the Senate Foreign Relations Committee by a strong bipartisan vote of 14 to 4. Over the last several months, several questions have been asked about New START, and we've answered every single one. Some have asked whether it will limit our missile defense. It will not. Some, including Senator John Kyle, have asked that we modernize our nuclear infrastructure for the 21st century. We are doing so and plan to invest at least $85 billion in that effort over the next 10 years, a significant increase from the Bush administration. Finally, some make no argument against the treaty. They just ask for more time. But remember this. It's already been 11 months since we had inspectors in Russia, and every day that goes by without ratification is a day that we lose confidence in our understanding of Russia's nuclear weapons. If the Senate doesn't act this year, after six months, 18 hearings, and nearly 1,000 questions answered, it would have to start over from scratch in January. The choice is clear. A failure to ratify New START would be a dangerous gamble with America's national security, setting back our understanding of Russia's nuclear weapons as well as our leadership in the world. That's not what the American people sent us to Washington to do. There's enough gridlock, enough bickering. If there is one issue that should unite us, as Republicans and Democrats, it should be our national security. Some things are bigger than politics. As Republican Dick Lugar said the other day, Every senator has an obligation in the national security interest to take a stand, to do his or her duty. Senator Lugar is right. And if the Senate passes this treaty, it will not be an achievement for Democrats or Republicans. It will be a win for America. Thanks.